Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to STL Soccer Talk, the video edition. I, once again, am Tom Timmerman, and I'm joined by, once again, Carter Chaplin. I remain to be Carter Chaplin, and we have a 3-0 soccer team in St. Louis. It's, it's really a, an amazing situation that they are 3-0. I mean, it's amazing, uh, you know, that any team is 3-0. and It's a lot of parity in Major League Soccer, mm -hmm. and there's only one other team in the league that is undefeated. They're the only team that's 3-0. and LAFC is 2-0. and So right there is a significant fact. But the fact that, you know, 3-0, I think of the three games, I think this week's, or last week's, mm -hmm. win over Portland is really the most significant of the bunch because this was, you know, it, it didn't have the pizzazz of the opener, it didn't have the pizzazz of the home opener. It was a game. It was a game between two Major League Soccer teams that you're going to see throughout this season. And in that game, City SC was, you know, competitive. They played with them and they won the game. And so I think this says a lot about this team going forward that, you know, there was nothing fluky about this game. They played with a team, with another, with an established MLS team, and they beat them. And so if they can beat, you know, beat Portland in this game, they can win, you know, they, they're in every game. I don't see a game in which mm -hmm. you would say, you know, they're, they're in over their heads. They've already overcome the negative connotation of the expansion side, so to speak. Mm -hmm. They're winning games on the road. They're winning games that don't have the adrenaline. The Clydesdales have all gone home. You're absolutely <laughs> right. These are just now MLS games, and they're still winning. They will, as you say, lose eventually. Mm -hmm. We just don't know when, I guess, yeah. is a better way of putting it. But they are, they are still winning. And, and when you look at the rest of the season, I mean, the playoffs are squarely as that, that's got to be the target now rather than just being just being around. Now you have to think about how you can thrive, and that, that has to be squarely in their vision, right? They're, they're what, 20% of the way there? They're 20, we, we would, you would think based on previous year standings that they'd be about 20% of the way, the 45 points, they got nine, uh, would put them in the playoff picture. Um, you know, they're still keeping this pretty low key, and they're still saying, mm -hmm. you know, that's over. We played, we did that last week, that game is over, this is a new week, it's a new challenge. San Jose, who they play this week with a chance to become the first MLS expansion team ever to start 4-0. They could do that, you know, and, but they're saying we've got to go and, you know, stick to our fundamentals, do our principles, play our kind of game, and, you know, for that to happen. You know, soccer is a sport in which the best team on the field on that day doesn't always win. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, you know, when you got games with one or two goals scored, there's it just doesn't take much for something to flip the other way. But the way they're playing, they're going to be in those games. And this Saturday against San Jose will be another game they'll you know, be right in the mix with. And when you look at who they've, they've beaten this season, two of their three wins come against teams who are currently in playoff positions. And you only play those teams so many times. So, I mean, you're getting wins against teams that you would be otherwise competing against for that playoff position. And it mm -hmm. seems like that's at least a good place to be in to start your season. If not, you know, you'll have to play, face all these teams again, most likely, in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But you've taken advantage of your opportunities against competitive clubs, and that's mm -hmm. got to be at least something to take away as a positive this yeah. early in the year. Yeah, they play Western Conference teams twice apiece, so mm -hmm. Portland and Austin will come in. but Both, Portland, both on the road, too. Yeah, they won them on the road. The first expansion team to win its first two on the road. Um, so, yeah, I mean, everything is says this is a team doing things that have not been done before uh, in Major League Soccer. Again, the season runs for a long time. <laughs> there is a lot of soccer seven months still left. to come. Yes. So, um, you know, a lots can happen. But, you know, right now, nothing but good things has happened yes. to this team. And it's encouraging. And yes. you talk about a team that's getting more confident, a team that's got momentum. That's what we see. But they know that they still have to, there's some things they have to clean up. But that's mm -hmm. what practices are for, and they're on their way. So on that note, thank you very much for joining us. If you want to hear more about this, we do a podcast every week, STL Soccer Talk with me and Carter and other guests who come by. Subscribe to the Post-Dispatch, uh, stltoday.com, and support local journalism. And thank you much. Be seeing you.